One of my subscribers, I can't remember exactly who had reached out to me and said they wanted me to do a story about this uh, situation involving Simone Biles and her mother, but more so from the standpoint from this post that was put on the Daily Mail. Now this right here, this screenshot on you, that you see is not from the Daily Mail, but we're going to get to that. We're going to work our way up to that, but I wanted to go into the actual story itself before you see the hit piece that the Daily Mail tried to turn this out to be. So basically, in case y'all are unaware, but by now you probably have heard, Simone Biles' biological mother, whose name is Shannon Biles, has reached out or put out there that she would like to reconcile with her daughter. Now, if you're unaware, Shannon Biles has three children. She has, of course, Simone, and then she also has two additional children. Her sister, who you've probably seen a couple of times, her sister is like her twin, but she's... um. I believe she I believe Simone is the youngest of the three, but she also has a brother as well. Now, Simone and her sister were adopted by her grandfather, whose name is Ron. And of course, you know, he has a wife whose name is Nellie, who you've seen numerous of times at different events that Simone has had over the years with her gymnastics and all of that good stuff. I believe Shannon is the daughter of. Of Ron and I, I believe I have that uh, correct now the reason why Shannon had to give up her children or at least two of her children for adoption is because she dealt with drugs she you she was a user she used hardcore drugs and wasn't able to take care of her kids at least for the most part she couldn't take care of Simone and her sister so that's why she had to send them off to her dad which is Simone and her sister's grandfather and his wife to be raised by them in Texas and they pretty much raised them since they were little girls all the way through to adulthood to the point where you know they could be on their own and now she's reached out to her and said that she wants to be in her life and it's become very controversial because a lot of people are questioning the timing of all of this especially since Simone is coming off of a very great Olympic not only Olympic run but a very very strong Olympic comeback considering what she had to deal with in the Tokyo games back in 2021 a lot of people are questioning like the sincerity of her mother reaching out at this time and whatnot and they're saying like where were you at all this time and why does Simone have to reach out to you and all this type of stuff I mean look at this headline right here it says Simone's birth mother bugs begs for forgiveness over abandonment it says while Shannon Biles battled drug and alcohol addiction she gave up the gymnast and her younger sister to their grandparents when the girls were toddlers and then it goes on into some other stuff again this is not from the Daily Mail like I said we working our way up to that nonsense that they put out there but I just wanted to get this part of the story out of the way but I question the timing as well because again Simone Biles has had an immense amount of success the world know who she is she's hands down probably arguably and not even debatable one of the greatest athletes of all time I mean this woman has won just about everything in her field that she possibly can to the point where if she decided that she was going to retire today everyone will be fine with that because she will have nothing left to prove and I truly believe that's I truly believe if she does retire it's going to be because she wants to start a family with her husband Jonathan Owens and it's crazy because that topic of discussion came up a couple of times during the Olympic Games and all of that good stuff and I said yeah they probably want to start that family they're still young both of them are still under the age of 30 so they want to get that family on and popping and hey if they are going to do that I'm all for it I truly believe that's the route that they want to take and I hope that that is the route that they do end up taking so now that I pretty much got all of that part out of the way and y'all pretty much are caught up to speed about the whole situation and if again if y'all need more additional information there are plenty of outlets out there besides the one I'm about to talk about that will lay down the groundwork of what is really going or what's going on with that situation but that was pretty much an overall summary of it but look at this screenshot right here that I got from the Daily Mail this was on the Daily Mail today and this is what was sent to me by one of my subscribers it said exclusive Simone Biles flaunts her Birkins Range Rover in Texas mansion but the 25 million dollar Olympic gymnast has given no handouts to her penniless birth mom who works as a cashier to make ends meet I promise you 
the Daily Mail, who I consider to be the Fox News of the UK, is the only outlet I have seen write a hit piece title like this one. And you know, sometimes when, the, when it comes to the Daily Mail, you can look in the comment section and you'll see that their comment section reflects a lot of the times of whatever is the title of the article or even what is written in the article. I didn't even bother reading the article because I already knew just on that title alone, it was either a hit piece incoming or it was a clickbait or a combination of the two. I'm gonna go with option C and say it was a combination of the first two that I just said in order to get people to watch it or look to see what they said or it was to be what they call engagement farming or engagement harvesting or whatever they like to call it. But when I looked at the comment section, they pretty much was like, uh, what are y'all talking about? It's not Simone Biles' job to reach out to this woman who pretty much abandoned her and pretty much gave her up. Luckily, she was able to be adopted into back into her family via her grandparents and not end up in foster care because if that would have happened who knows what would have happened to her or her sister because it's not even a guarantee they would have been together and luckily her sister was able to be adopted with her now like i said i don't think that the brother was adopted along with them but i think that the brother is in their life in some capacity i believe there was also a little bit of tension there at one point but i think they probably have since then gotten over that but as far as it goes with her mother, her mother has to be the one that has to make that first step. It doesn't, it should not be heavily placed onto Simone just because she's this big star or this big time world gymnast. That's great and all, but it shouldn't fall on her. Just like the situation with the whole Michaela Skinner thing. If y'all remember about that one and what she said about the US team, she gonna get back on there and then try to turn it, go into victim mode and try to make it seem like Simone was the one that had to be the mediator of the situation for something this girl kickstarted. I mean, it was the craziest thing. I didn't get an opportunity to talk about it, but I said, let me just go ahead and just insert that part right there. Why put on the shoulders of this young woman of any weight that she doesn't need to bear or carry? That's not her load to care. It really isn't. All Simone has to do is continue to go out there and be great and do her thing. And then, like I said, you have the Daily Mail right in this hit piece right here to try to make it seem like Simone Biles is the bad person. Saying, uh, and pocket watch. You know they like to watch pocket watch black people like it's nothing. I mean, sitting up there talking about the stuff that she's purchased with her money, getting these vehicles with her money. She worked hard for it, let her splurge a little bit. It's nothing. And then putting out how much money that this woman is receiving is none of anybody's business. I wouldn't have known she was doing all of this if the Daily Mail didn't put this out there because I don't care. It's not my money. She's I'm not her financial advisor. As far as I'm concerned, the only people that should be knowing about her finances are her, her husband, and her financier. That is it. As far as I'm concerned. The fact that they put that out there to try to make it seem like she was wrong for doing this, the Daily Mail can go straight to hell for that one. But then again, I'm not surprised by that because the Daily Mail tends to do this a lot. The New York Post does this all as well. Going to put this hit piece out there about this woman because for what? We know you did it for clicks and views. And so what if she went out there and bought that stuff? That Again, she worked for that. That is her money. And to try to make it seem like she's wrong because she's not reaching out to her mother. Excuse me? Why does she have to make the first move? She didn't abandon her mother. Her mother abandoned her and her sister because of a habit she could not kick at the end of the day. So to try to make it seem like Simone should be the villain is dead wrong. But notice that I titled this about the Daily Mail's anti-blackness because there's another story that they put out there outside of Simone Biles that grabbed my attention when I got the screenshot of this headline. And it was this screenshot right here. Now, when I was getting the screenshot from the previous headline y'all just saw, y'all just saw from the Daily Mail, I looked over to my right and what did my little brown eye see? This one. It says Caitlin Clark beats U.S. Olympic gold winners in stunning Indiana Fever display versus Phoenix Mercury in succeeds where Angel Reese failed. Now, anybody with a sound mind can easily tell this is a hit piece against the U.S. Women's team and Angel Reese because let's be real here 
they wanted Caitlin Clark to be on that U.S. women's team so bad and were so upset and saying they were not going to watch her. They were going to root against the other teams and hope that these women would lose. But guess what? They came out with gold regardless. And they, guess what? They still had something to say. No surprise there. Shout out to Kid Gravity because he went over a host or a numerous amount of tweets and posts on X of them literally going in on them like as if they had. I believe they had those uh, posts saved in the drafts ready to send whether they won or lost could you imagine what it would look like had they lost so that's really what that all is and they said ha 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 caitlin clark beat the olympic gold winners but guess what team still got gold so i don't get why they're trying to make it seem like it's such a great thing but okay fine good for caitlin i guess but then when they had to come in and say she succeeded where Angel Reese failed, why did you bring Angel Reese into this? Now, to my knowledge, Caitlin Clark apparently had one of the best games she had this season, considering, against the Phoenix Mercury. And I believe Angel Reese, you know, in Chicago Sky, I can't remember who they played. I don't think they had a good game. And, you know, it is what it is. You're going to have those kind of games. It happens. But they made sure to throw Angel Reese under the bus when they didn't need to because of this so this manufactured rivalry by these media outlets such as the daily mail so they managed to throw the u.s women's team again who won gold under the bus and they threw angel reese under the bus to lift up their great white hope caitlin clark and they try to say race doesn't play a factor what are the odds that y'all did this with the U.S. Olympic team that has black women playing on the team? Again, not all of them are black, by the way. We went over this, but you also threw Angel Reese under the bus as well because y'all managed to always have to do that when it comes to Caitlin Clark, no matter what. It's just, you know, it's not surprising to me whatsoever. Like I said, this is the Daily Mail's anti-blackness on full display. And this is not the first time they've done this or something like this, nor will it be the last. But it's just something that caught my attention. Like I said, I was only coming on here to talk about the Simone Biles hit piece that they wrote. But then I saw that and I said, I can't just let this one just slip on by and pretend I didn't see that. So there you have it. I'm not surprised at the antics of the Daily Mail. This is who they are. Again, these are the same people. Like I said, they are literally the Fox News of the UK. If you look at their mission statement, it'll tell you right there who they, they really cater to quite often. And when you look at what Fox News does, they're literally parallel. They are very symmetrical. They are very similar. They're almost like distant cousins or long lost twins. <laughs> 